Hello everyone, welcome to this video. And in this video, we're gonna go through how we set up the Fortinet security fabric on a FortiGate device. Specifically, how we set up the root FortiGate, downstream FortiGates, and make them form that security fabric connection. So, let's get started. So in this video, we're gonna show how we set up the FortiGate root and FortiGate downstream and establish that security fabric connection uh, over uh, Foley uh, that, that uses Foley telemetry uh, port A013. So uh, this is the topology that we're gonna have. It's just a simple topology. We have uh, three uh, Foley gates, the root and the downstream one uh, are gonna be having IP uh, network connected to the IP subnet 1.0. Uh, downstream one and downstream two is going to be having subnet 2.0 so let's get started with the um, configuration now uh, the root 40 gate i'm going to just show the interfaces interface port uh, or port 8 uh, isp to lan is going to be the connection between the 40 gate root and the uh, downstream one now, if I want to go and set up the security fabric in there, I'll go to security um, security fabric, fabric connector, and then I browse to uh, security fabric setup. Okay. Now, I want to set up this server as fabric root. So, I'll click that option. Now, in order to uh, set up the fabric, it's mandatory to have 40 analyzer connection so i could either use cloud login uh, or i could use on-prem 40 analyzer um, so now my uh, 40 cloud logging should be uh, set uh, as we see here there's a cloud uh, logging now i'm gonna set up the fabric serve as a brute uh, the allow other fabric de uh, devices to join so i'm gonna specify here which interface is gonna be listening for uh, other devices in the fabric to join this security fabric. Now the port that I'm using, like I mentioned, is port eight, ISP to LAN. Uh, so I'm gonna remove one one and I'm gonna remove port, uh, I'll just keep port eight. This device authorization, I'm not gonna use it right now, but this is if I want to pre-authorize a device based on the serial number, meaning that if I connect downstream one, and I want it to join as a downstream, I don't need to come here and authorize it. It will be already pre-authorized. Now authorization type are done either by the uh, serial number of the firewall or a certificate, okay? Uh, if in case, for example, I don't want uh, a device to join the fabric, I could just specify an action as denied. Now coming back to the setup, um, allow downstream devices REST API access. Uh, it says enable or disable access to rate to uh, the REST API of the Korean device for API requests coming from downstream security fabric. This is used for um, uh, other uh, fabric devices joining with the 40 gate, for example, 40 NAC. Uh, I'll keep this option disabled for now. And uh, now, uh, management IP of QDN, this is specifying that. IP address that could be used. So uh, allow user to navigate to this 40 gate from other 40 gates. So from other 40 gates, I could log in to any other 40 gate in the fabric. And this is gonna be the IP address you want to uh, specify for this. I'm not using this feature in this video, um, but just wanna let you know. And the port as well is specified in here. So I'll go ahead and click okay. Uh, oh, the fabric name. Fabric name, um, I'll name it TK Corp. So now this is the uh, root device set on the 40 gate, okay? Now what I wanna do is I want to join 40 gate downstream one to the 40 gate root, okay? Uh, first thing I wanna make sure is the interface have security fabric connection enabled all right so that would um, 
allow the um, the ports or, or the communication on the port for it for it elementary port and cap -wap. okay so let's do just a sniffer here one dot two right one dot two is the downstream one forty gate and now what I'm gonna do I want the downstream one forty gate to join this root forty gate so let's go to that forty gate I'll go to the security fabric fabric connector and I already have the cloud logging enabled in here and now let's go say join existing fabric okay um, there's a note here if you're using 40 gate cloud and the security fabric as you're logging uh, you want to make sure that all the 40 cloud account are similar okay now the upstream 40 gate is going to be 172.16.1.1 and I'll leave these options the default and I'm go ahead and click OK. Now let's go back here and see. So this is a request coming from 1.2 to 1.1 to join. This is a 40 telemetry communication over 8. 013 port so now what need to be done because I did not pre-authorize the like I mentioned here device authorization I did not pre-authorize the downstream 40 gate here I need to authorize it manually so I could see here there is a um, Request, go to the firmware registration page to authorize your 40 gate and handle other device. Um, so I can see here there is a request coming to authorize 40 gate downstream one. Okay. Um, I want to try this. I want to do diagnose system CSF upstream. So I could see here that there is an upstream device configured in here which is 172.16.1.1 but the connection is pending authorization all right so i'll go ahead and do authorize now i should be able to have the device and the security fabric here you go it is online now uh, let's take a look at the topology now if i want to go back here and do diagnose system csf upstream i could see this is authorized all right i want to do csf neighbor list and I could see that over port 6 there is the neighbor which is the port 6 is the one used in here to connect to the other 40 gate we didn't need to enable the security fabric in here um, but it should be joined okay so allowed and authorized uh, devices. If I go to system firmware registration, I could see the devices here that are in the fabric. Now, what I want to do is I want to, oh, I want to show case before that. Um, I'll close this. I'll do diagnose system CSF uh, downstream. Now I could see that there is a downstream device connected in this fabric over um, port 6 and so downstream device interface is port 6. The upstream device or the root is existing one is port 8 and this is the um, serial number of the 40 gate ends with 33 all right 
Now, I want to show you this on the roots show system CSF. And we could see that the device, the 40 gate ending with serial number 33, is now in the trusted list. So I could see that it's been added and it, the serial number is there. Now the trusted list list is either uh, authorized by the, uh, you either have the 40 gate serial number or you have the 40 gate, or you have a license, a certificate, sorry. Now what we wanna do, we wanna add the downstream 40 gate, the second one, uh, and wanted to join these two 40 gates. So let's add the DC to the security um, fabric. And now DC is downstream two, and LAN is downstream one. Now the subnet between them, the connected through subnet 2.0, okay? Now let's do this. Let's pre-authorize, so using the serial number, um, let's see, I want to grab the serial number. So I want to pre-authorize this firewall on the root. So I'll go to the fabric setup, I'll do edit. So let's add this 40 gig in here. It says disconnected the status. So I have the 40 gate in here, but the status of the 40 gate is still um, not connected. All right. I wanted to try this command diagnose system CSF authorization pending. So there's nothing that pending authorization right now. Okay. So let me go and make sure in security fabric of 40 gate LAN, which is downstream one, I want to make sure that I have um, settings correctly and need to allow other 40 gate to join the fabric. Now on this 40 gate, let's go ahead and do the settings. By the way, when I enable the allow other security fabric to join, uh, by default, I think the security fabric connection is going to be enabled. Okay. So let's go to the DC fabric setup. And I'm going to join existing fabric. The IP address of the upstream 40 gate is 2.1. So it is 2.1. Go ahead and do OK. So let's give it uh, just a bit. So it's not connecting. or not connected, sorry, uh, and I should see it connecting. So now it is connecting. So I'll go to the 40 gate uh, route and I should be seeing soon the 40 gate being added there and authorized. Here we could see that this 40 gate is online and it is pre-authorized. Diagnose system CSF downstream and I can see that 172.16.2.2 is added and on the LAN as well if I go to diagnose system CSF downstream I could see the 40 gate downstream too if I do upstream 
this is the 40 gate uh, root. Now if I go to the 40 gate DC, so I see the status being authorized. Let's do diagnose system CSF upstream and upstream is 2.1 authorized. Um, show system CSF on the uh, root so I could see both 40 gates in here that are trusted with the 40 gate serial number. Okay. So I have this uh, video was informative for you and you've learned how to set up the 40 gate security fabric specifically connecting root 40 gate with the downstream 40 gates.